CBS presents this program in color. All right, welcome back. Um, so I went ahead and rebuilt um, the top that I had screwed up on last time. Um, I wanted to show everyone if you hadn't seen how this works. So uh, here's my char uh, charred feral ghoul. So you turn the power off, it opens the door. And then what you have to do is you have to go back into um, into build mode and you'll notice down at the bottom it says enter to repair. So basically you just repair it, that puts a new uh, bait in there and um, that makes it ready to uh, grab a new one. So anytime you're going to trap something you have to make sure that you have the beta wave inhibitor otherwise it will come out and be aggressive to everybody. So um, so that's good to go. So alright so here we go. One of them since what I want to do me. yeah shut up buddy. Um, well, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to save it because although what I have planned is not, um, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. However, what I have planned is, uh, let's come out this way. Um, should we go with something with railings for the steps? So, if we were going to do something with railings, we would, oops, you know, maybe go with something like this, like that. And we have the railings up and then we can put railings around um, or do we go with the old tried and true I don't know how tried and how true they are but the ones that everybody had grown to come and love was these ones um, so basically you know no railings um, but uh, I think I think I'm gonna go with the railings um, the metal ones um, and here's my thought. If they can get all of these railroad cars here, they can go into a factory, and um, you'll notice we have sheet metal here. So they can go into a factory and grab these stairs. So I'm perfectly okay with that. All right. So now we have our steps. Okay, so what I was thinking about doing was um, extending this out. Uh, problem is, in order to do that, um, I want it to be centered. I want it to be a full width one on this side. So in order to do that, um, we uh, kind of need the space. Um, we need something to do that. So what I'm going to do is the same thing that I had experienced uh, uh, back in the other area where I basically locked it in place. So this gives me... Um, this gives me the uh, the ability to put um, something there, and so I want to go with the old rickety floors. Um, all right, and so if you're trying to figure out what I'm doing, I want to offset the want to offset the floor. So um, what I actually want is this to actually have an overhang to it. And that was going to allow me to use these these um, pillars. It allows me to use these metal pillars here, right? So we can do that. Kind of gives us a natural walkway entrance there. Um, so we have that, but then the question is, do we need this whole width? Or do we want to just go with um, some more of the narrow walkway? Um, so we can't go there. Uh, we need a different look. Okay, there we go. Now we can go here. And, um, yeah, let's do this. over a little bit too far
pretty close. That's good enough for the girls I date. Alright, so, um, that, you know, I don't mind the little transition there. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and put, we're going to go ahead and put some more of these here supports back through here. Um, along the sides. Because, uh, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we will either have something very frightening up here, or let's put, we could put um, a sentry, or a, a guard post up here, alright? So we could stick our guard post up here, and um, just as a force of habit, when we do a guard post, we need to have the railings go all the way to the back. And I always like these ones. Alright, so that kind of makes it feel more secure or whatever. Now we have a guard post. Let's make somebody do some guarding. You're working. Piper, you're not working, but Settler is, Settler is. Dog isn't. I know I had... Can we make him guard? No. Um, I know there was somebody else that wasn't doing anything. And so let's see if we can find him. There we go. Mr. Stand there and stare at the, uh, the deal. Okay. So, um, let's go ahead and save again. Just because, you know, once bitten, twice shy. Uh, so let me show you what I did in here. So I went ahead and gave a uh, window so you can look out. And um, I used these walls as the partition. And so we have uh, just a nice little space here. We'll put some railings up there. And then if we come in here and we get knocked off the thing, we have another nice little space. So one of the things I did, and I kind of showed it before, was I offset these fl this floor, and then I put the those uh, bump out walls on the front and the back. Well, after I had done that, I decided that I liked it so much. Instead of putting a wall right across there, actually it'd be across here. You know, even with the door, I said let's do another bump out wall. You know, so I went ahead and did a bump out wall for that section. So. It still kind of gives me the two width space, but it does narrow the profile a little bit, and um, I think it adds a little bit of creativity and, and uh, character to it. So we get our little kind of uh, window area, um, and then just have a nice little space here. So um, let's go ahead and get our... go ahead and get our railings on. Um, so if we can, I want to use this big long railing. And it's not going to let me, is it? No. I cannot be that lucky. Could not be that lucky. In fact, I'm not going to be able to get anything in here. Um, I know what I can get in there. I know what I can get in there. Let's put everybody's new favorite one. And that is going to go everywhere. Because I'm going to start calling these the Honey Badger uh, railings. Because these railings don't give a fuck. They just don't care. They will go anywhere. They're like, anytime, any place. Let's do it. Alright, so let's where's Oh, we reached our maximum size. Okay, so don't look, but uh we're gonna save this. And 
and um, nobody look. I don't have diddly squat here. We're going to have to throw down a lot of stuff. I got more than I thought. Alright, so don't let me forget that I did this. I need to go recover all this stuff after the fact. So the trick to doing this on this floor is usually you'd like to find a much better spot to do this. But if, as you can see, if you look up in the... Uh, upper right corner you can see the size of the settlement uh, size limit going down it's now I'm now in the green um, and that's going to be good enough for now um, it's going to let us kind of continue at least for for now and uh, let's just do some of the stuff that we want to do for the rest of this video anyway um, why come on now Really? Is that the best you can do? Oh my god. What is the deal with this stupid fence? I love using this fence, but it's so quirky. It only goes in certain spots. Like, it wants to go out there. I don't want you out there. Screw you then. I don't. Uh, I don't need your charity. Um. Well, you know, just for ease, might as well just use the metal railing all the way around. Crying out loud. Um. Yeah. So. Actually, I kind of like to have in that little bit of a mix. Um, here's a question. What do you guys think, and I will leave this the way it is right now, but um, let's close this door. What do you think if I were to, and I'll show you, and then we'll just put everything back. Right? What do you think if I were to do something like this, and essentially... Will essentially give this guy a porch area. So, um, I mean, he's a shop. Uh, I think that this is going to be the doctor thing. So this would just be a porch area for the doctor. I don't know if he needs it, but uh, let me know what you think. And let me put this back the way I had it. I don't know which one was there, but we'll just make one up. And um, yeah, so let me know what everybody thinks about that option. Um, Something that just kind of sparked my curiosity. If I was actually doing a, um, if I was actually doing uh, a house for someone, I think I'd probably do that. Then I could put like a little table out there, make it look like people are out there relaxing and that kind of thing. So, um, yeah. So that's kind of cool. We have our, our nice little guard post, and we have that there. I don't know how much more I will want to do on this one. Well, let's put some some posts here. We need some... In case you're curious what that sound was, I just had a fly try to fly into my mouth, so I wanted to make sure that I... Uh, wanted to make sure that he didn't fly into my mouth. Okay. So... Oh, I don't want it that high. Alright, so... We need this the same height. Just, uh... Walk back a little bit, right? How's that look? Wonder bar! And then the question is, do we need more than one? We're talking about steel here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if we need another one. If we do, if you guys think I need another one, I'll put one right there. But uh, I'm actually kind of okay with that being there. I, if anything, I'd put another one on this corner there. So, but 
uh, I might run into some issues because there's a power generator and stuff like that, but let me know what everybody thinks about that. Otherwise, I'm just going to run with it the way it is. And uh, let's put... This one might be fun and interesting because this one has this other railing there. So let's do this. Do, 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 do. Can we... So, we got to come in. Okay, so. Oh, this is so hard to do by eye. And see, that's not going to... Oh, that ain't going to work. Okay. Wow. Wow. Get off there. That's close, but no. Nope. Grab the right thing. <laughs> Alright. That works. Um, and we can... What, can we put the floor back in? Let's have a look. And the question is, do you guys think I need the floor there? I can just close all that off. Um, yeah. So, one of the things I also wanted to show that I did, because that guy was just standing around, so I gave him a spot to uh, guard this back gate. So, he's happily working now. Um, yeah, so... So, here's the deal. I don't need to have 12 different ways to get through here. So I think what I'm going to do is close this off. Um, this one side. So. And. The easy way to do that would be just with something like this. Let's see how close we can get it. Is that. Well, I've got a gap. This side, it doesn't look too bad, but there is a bit of a gap, so can we fix the gap? I'm cool with that. Alright, so now that gets us here, we come out here, and we can come out there. Um, with, no... With all of these things here, do we need to be able to come in through this doorway? Or should we put a wall up there? I'd be okay with a wall there and just make the entrance there. Because we do have an entrance up there and I kind of want to have a funnel done. Yeah, let's do that. Let us do that. And for texture, can we put this one up? I like that. More texture, more color, all that kind of fun stuff. Alright, so this gives us this space. So, as I kind of joked about this the other day, and I had all three of these things lined up, but so I'm going to break them up, and I'm going to use, I'm going to use these things to break that up, just to kind of add some, um, so you don't have a full line of sight through there and uh, that kind of thing. So let's... And when you're playing on a PC and your mouse gets right on the edge of your mouse pad, um, you can kind of feel it grab on the edge of the mouse pad. You know, those little pads on the bottom of the mouse. It grabs on the corner and uh, makes it feel kind of weird. Alright, so now, this feels a bit more, kind of, you know, oh, hey, look, we go around in here. Plus, it kind of extends this space a little bit, right? And then we kind of have that space kind of extended a little bit. And then it breaks this up rather nicely. And then we have all this. 
Oh, I must use that one already. And then we have this space back here. And, uh, just for fun, can we put a wall here? Or will it not go? Nope, will not go. I'm fine with that. Alright. So, I think I'm going to leave that, leave this the way it is at the moment. This looks like about most everything that I wanted to accomplish so far. Let me know what everybody thinks. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions. Let me know if you think this is a big pile of dog turds. Whatever the case may be. Um, I'm open to criticism and uh, I'm open to suggestions. Um, never built anything like this uh, obviously and uh, so I'm just kind of winging it and uh, you know if I come up with a kind of a random idea I'm like oh hey we can do this um, and then I try to get it incorporated but um, so let me know what everybody uh, is feeling about this I would like to know everybody's thoughts um, it definitely has a nice ramshackle look to it and uh, I think we can kind of decorate it and make it look pretty uh, pretty interesting. Um, other than that, thanks everyone, and I hope that you all have a great day, um, because it, regardless of what time of day it is, you know, um, it's still your whole day. I want you to have that whole day, 24-hour window, to be great. And uh, even the next day, we'll give you that one too. Um, after that, you're on your own. I'm not even going to try to wish you that. Um, but thank you, everyone. I really appreciate you watching the videos, and I hope that you like them. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, and you do give me a thumbs down, throw a comment down there, because that's going to help me understand what I can do better and what you don't like about it. Maybe you just think I'm a rambling idiot, and that's fine with me. Let me know that I'm a rambling idiot, because I kind of already know that, but I need confirmation sometimes. Um, and then, uh, any suggestions and thoughts? Thanks. Bye. Let me just close this conversation by saying you are one unique individual.